Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Late to Crypto. Um, your host, Mike. Oh, Mike, Michael, call me whatever you want. Um, a little bit about myself. I'm just average guy. Uh, I don't. I mean, I work. I work at like a nine to five job, and uh, I'm just really just getting sick of the grind and. I want to retire early. I mean, I'm not trying to make money like tomorrow off of this, but I want to make something. So uh, a little bit about my crypto history. I've been investing basically since January, and I've made next to nothing. So seems about seems about right. But I've learned a, a thing or two about uh, some of the mistakes I've made and uh, biggest thing is do your own research. Everyone here preaches that on YouTube, but uh, you should definitely do it because it's uh, it's pretty useful. Anyway, uh, remember this is not financial advice. Uh, I am nowhere near qualified to be a financial advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. I'm probably just going to lose all my money, and yeah, so that'll be fun. Anyway, today we are talking about Piggy Bank Machine. Piggy Bank Machine, um, if you've seen BUSD Machine or Duck Network or any of these other BS, BUSD pumpers, um, uh, then you're going to be pretty familiar with this. But uh, these guys kind of took a little bit different of a take on it. Um, they tried to make it a little more fair to the Joe Schmo, like you and me. And uh, they added a few extra rules in there. And then they're trying to get rid of the bots. Anyway, so this is going live in uh, 19 and a half hours. Um, I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm definitely going to put some, some cash in there. And then uh, they got airdrops. So... That's easy. So I'll put at least 100 in there and then wait seven days. And then uh, hopefully I get five or more referrals from you guys. That'd be pretty sweet. Okay, so if you're not familiar with uh, BUSD Machine or Duck Network or any of those other ones like Fire BUSD, all that jazz. So basically, you're going to use your BUSD. And then that's at, what is it, 4%? And oh, I might want to connect my wallet. Hold on just a sec. Okay, cool. All right, so I got my wallet connected now. And so, so there is, how many zeros is that? One million. So there's one million total. And one million total piggies. And then... They're giving out 20000 for airdrops, which is why the supply is already lower. Um, already covered that. And Okay, so mint piggies. Mint piggies by staking your BUSD. You can stake as many times as you want. You cannot unstake this BUSD. So the APR is 1460%. Which I believe is four uh, percent daily. So you put in a hundred, you'll get four every day. So then you get however many of those, and then you stake them, stake those piggies, and it has to be for a minimum of seven days. And then those you get six for every one hundred of those. That's twenty one ninety percent. And then uh, when you're ready, when it's a high enough number, you unstake and then you sell them. And then you get BUSD for, I mean, depending on what the piggies are worth at the time. So, I mean, I imagine it's, I mean, it's probably going to climb up pretty quick to a dollar. We'll see. Um, all right. Okay, a process, enter BUSD, you get 4% per day. Claim rewards any time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I already covered that. Da, da, da. Terminology. 
Okay, let's get to the white paper. Already opened it. Okay, is a fork of BUSD machine V2, increased APR, aimed to give long-term sustainability. Uh -huh. All right, cool. Since there have been some BUSD machine forks in the past that were doomed to fail from the start, we created Piggy Bank Machine. The two biggest problems with the previous forks were the bottleneck phenomenon where the sell limit of 40k tokens is reached and cannot be changed. Bots are often winners because they automatically sell after 24 hours and leave honest investors in the dust. And I can attest to that because I haven't even withdrawn from Duck Network. And every day I look, it's it just always says zero remaining tokens to sell. So... Yeah, so hopefully I just get lucky one day and I just hit it right on time. Okay, the airdrop exploit. People will sponsor themselves, and since there's no minimum investment, the fake accounts are created with 0.1 USD deposit to collect the free airdrop. This puts on investors at disadvantages in the long run. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, okay, solution, bottleneck solution. Since we can adjust the sell limit as it suits us, we will change the periods from a certain point in time. If the case occurs that bots use up most of the limit within the first few seconds, we will set the sell limit to zero shortly after the start of the period and set it back again a few hours later, or even increase it. In this way, we will enable all investors to be able to pay out fairly and evenly in the long term. I mean, yeah, that's that sounds pretty cool, because uh, I hate bots. I mean, yeah, that's just not fun. It's impossible to compete with them. Okay, two, airdrop exploit solution. Since we control the protocol 100% at all times, we won't give people who try to exploit our airdrop a chance. We are constantly tracking all transactions happening on our contract and will raise the minimum investment in relation to the price of piggies so it will never be worth exploiting. So yeah, so don't try to scam them. Uh, probably not a good idea. Uh, I, uh, I don't plan on scamming, so yeah. Um, you probably lose your money a lot faster. Okay. Solutions. Our strategies. We will integrate Piggy Bank Machine into more ecosystems and will continue to develop various innovative platforms and therefore be able to apply real utility to the piggies. So, okay. So, that's nice. Our marketing strategy includes networking with YouTubers and influencers. We will also place advertisements on DAP websites such as DAP Radar, Google, Twitter, and other social channels. After strengthening our community, we will seek alliances that will be beneficial to all involved. So, I really like that uh, they actually are trying to, uh, you know, have a future. Because it just seems like a lot of these are just kind of like crashing and burning pretty quick. So, it's just you got to get in or you got to be a bot, I guess. Okay, airdrops. A total of... 100,000 piggies will be managed for challenges on our website. A total of 20,000 piggies will be used for the pre-launch airdrops. Airdrops of 10 piggies for the first 500 people to join our announcements channel and provide a screenshot, first come, first serve. Airdrop of 100 piggies for everyone who makes a YouTube video about our project and provides a screenshot, first come, first serve. That's me. <laughs> um, yeah. And incentives for big influencers to promote our project. So that's that's not me, but um, I'm, I already got that one done, and then uh, this one as well. Um, white paper team and goals. How is Piggy Bank Machine organized? Piggy Bank Machine is a decentralized working hub for people with a vision to come together and build the future of global finance. Smart contracts, devs, strategists, statisticians, designers, and artists. Anyone can join and contribute no matter your nationality sex or views by investing in piggy bank you are investing in the idea that a group of highly technical individuals can safely securely and creatively leapfrog the dinosaurs of traditional finance the era of decentralized finance is here all right that's i like that okay why is the project anonymous personalities get in the way of many projects and we believe piggy bank machine speaks for itself by having a team that operates anonymously even amongst itself 
we can focus on providing the best experience to our users. We urge anyone with concerns that anonymity did anonymity yeah diminishes credibility to join our telegram community link on website and get a first-hand feeling for the strength and depth of the project so i don't know i mean i'm gonna risk it i i really don't care um if they're anonymous or not um i'm just trying to you know hit some kind of lottery here i mean not like i'm gonna win like millions of dollars tomorrow but maybe my small investment could turn into uh a big withdrawal in a few years you know we'll see and white paper disclaimer please note that this product should be used at your own risk yep definitely this project was started with benevolence and good intention the team will continue to optimize and update the code implement safety measures and partner with the best security teams in the industry to ensure fund safety that's a little reassuring and i like it all right kind of already went over this on the main page um oh here right here um so if you experience high gas fees while investing busd then make sure you have approved your BOC in step C. This actually happened to me when I was uh, on Duck Network. And I clicked on it, and I didn't approve it first. And I was freaking out because I was like, why would I pay $70 in gas fees for this one transaction? And then it lowered down to like, I don't know, it was like 18 cents or something like that afterwards. So I imagine it's pretty much the same thing here so yeah uh just you know read the instructions uh they got the white paper here on attached to the website so okay what else we got yep you stake piggies um you unstake them and then you sell them profit everybody wins okay tokenomics and pricing yeah we kind of went over that million uh -huh, yeah, 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 that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay. The piggy price is total BUSD balance divided by available supply. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Um, BUSD investments. Using the piggy price formula, it is easy to derive that as more funds enter the contract the price increases and as funds leave the contract the price decreases you yep, that that makes perfect sense to me using the piggy price formula a user mint users mint piggy tokens either by using busd or staking piggies the circulating supply increases which reduces the available supply which drives the price up token selling use the piggy price formula as users sell piggy tokens the circulating supply decreases which increases the available supply which drives the price down yeah so basically I think it's going to be good because if they're getting rid of these problems with the bots, so the price is going to it's going to go up, and then everybody's going to sell, then it's going to go down, and then while it's going down, everybody's going to be like, all right, well, I'll just stake my piggies and just sit on them for a while, and then when they're staking, the price is going to go up again, and then there's going to be a big sell. So it's just going to be like waves, I imagine, and uh, that's good. You know, you just got to ride the wave, really. All right, what do we got here? Um, links. Yep, there's the website, the Telegram, the Twitter. End of white paper. All right, um, uh, this, so this is my first video. So um, I'm on the push to get one subscriber. And maybe that's you. That'd be pretty cool. All right, have a good one.